Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV back at you again. Oh, cloudy, kind of dreary day on the coast. You can see Mr. Eagle's up there on a branch. Kind of drying off his wings, I guess. Anyway, I have a new gadget to play with today. The folks at Acaso sent me out one of their latest dash cam products. Last summer I reviewed their uh, dash cam, the Trace 1 Pro. And I used it uh, all winter and really like it. Really handy dash cam, works really well. I'll link back to the original review of that. Also for my birthday at the end of September, Anne purchased me the Acaso action cam. And overall I like it. I really like the waterproof case and it was handy to get some footage of some salmon. Also, uh, some time-lapse footage of, the, of a big storm going through quartzite, so it's a pretty cool little camera. It doesn't have the greatest uh, video when the lighting is really harsh. I find it blows out a lot of the highlights and stuff, but that's pretty uh, par for the course with small cameras like this. And what do I got today? Well, they offered to send me out this DL12 mirror dash cam and it really intrigued me because what it's designed to do is it's designed to clip onto the rear view mirror up here and it has a front facing dash cam but it also you can put a camera at the back of the vehicle and you'll have like a, a rear view so let's unbox it and give you a look at this thing okay quite a bit in the box well here it is it's a 12 inch display I guess diagonally measured and it clips onto the back of the mirror and you can see this is the front facing dash cam and then this thing is a mirror the way it sits but it also lights up and shows you the rear vision and the rear vision is going to come out of this little camera which you mount you can either mount it in the rear window or down by the license plate or anywhere else you'd like um, it's not a wireless camera, so it comes with this length of cord. It has to be run through the vehicle somewhere. And the red wire here is a, a trigger wire that you could put on your uh, backup light. And then when you, when, you, when you put it in reverse, I think it throws up a, a, a grid for, for backing into a spot. So it's like a rear view camera, backup camera. It uh, also has a GPS. You plug in as well if you want the GPS function out of it. And then we have a good length of cord and it runs off of 12 volts. So you would plug that into your cigarette lighter. A few other pieces we got here. Comes with a little owner's manual. I found the writing really small on it. But you can download off the internet the PDF. Uh, this little tool is to hide the wires and then we got some uh, straps for strapping it on the mirror and some other little uh, 3M mounting pads. I guess if you want to use that to mount your camera. So I'm going to hook it up on my mirror and we'll give her a test. So I've stuck the little camera just beside my license plate there. Ran the wire. Let's have it going through the bed of the truck right now. They made it all the way to the back, but uh, it's not a super long wire, but quite a long bed truck. I just have it temporarily going through the, the front there. And I just taped the GPS over there for now. Not sure whether I'm gonna use this system or not, so I don't wanna get it too installed. So there's what the mirror looks like attached. I attached with those rubber bands. They seem to work well. It seems to be on there pretty solid. So let's turn her on see what it looks like. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the keys in give it some power. There we go. So I used the same power cord that I had for my old dash cam since I already had it run in the truck. And you can see there's the rear view go like this and you can adjust it and then on this side they have a touch screen for brightness but I can see already there's quite a bit of reflection going on it's kind of a 
disconcerting. You see the reflection plus the the video of it. Let's just look at the front cam here. Well, there you can have a dual front and back. So you swipe it and it changes cameras. This is my front camera. You can see I can adjust that, rotate it around to whatever. That'll be the dash cam. There we go, that's the rear cam. Okay, maybe we'll take it for a little drive, see how it works here. This is obviously a, a pretty harsh environment for it, so it's going to give me a true test. It's kind of that kind of overcast day where I got a lot of bright white sky, a lot of reflections going on. Well, I only drove for a minute or two, and I can already tell you I don't like it. It's way too much reflection going on here. This isn't bright enough. So, and as a dash cam, you know, if you weren't going to use this, it does record front and back. But uh, I don't even really like when it's off. I don't like the, the way the mirror looks. There's something funny about the, the reflection. It just doesn't, doesn't look right to me. So I'd have to give this one probably a fail for me. Let's turn it back on here. There we go. Front and back again. Views for you. But you can see it's just so much reflection coming off that thing. There's uh, the recordings. Anyway, let's go back to the camper and I'll take this inside and we'll go through the settings and everything and give you a look at the recordings, how they turned out. quick comparison this is its mirror image so I'll take this off and I'll show you what the, the rear view mirror would normally look like there's a comparison there you can see the normal ones fairly clear this this one has kind of a blue uh, haze to it I guess because it is a video screen So you can see the display is actually quite bright on this and it's got a touch screen which is kind of neat. You can adjust things just by moving your hand on the screen. You can see here's brightness. Here I can move the image around. I can swipe it. There's the rear camera I have just pointed outside the, the back window of our rig. Swipe it again and I can get a split screen going on. If I swipe it the other way and I can look at the, the previous recordings of the camera. Pick them up and play them. It also picks up audio. Go back there. So, yeah, I, other than being used as a, a rear view mirror, it just doesn't work out for me. It's just there's too much reflection. Um, and then when it's off, I find that it's it just doesn't work very well compared to my normal rear view mirror. In some cars it might work okay. Uh, it's got some neat features here as far as recording goes. It will record front and back while you drive. So that's good as far as dash cam goes. And you can and it'd be quite a nice uh, backup camera because it's such a wide screen. Uh, downside is everything is wired and you have a certain amount of cord length so I think the max vehicle would probably be around if you have a 20 foot vehicle you're gonna be stretching that cord to get to the back another thing you could use it for is uh, a bed camera on a truck you could mount it and if you wanted to hitch up you could pop this on and do your hitch up procedures it's got quite a bit of settings here uh, so it has a 2k resolution you can set it up for 2K plus 180p, or you could go a lower resolution to save disk space. It takes up to a 120 gigabyte card, 
which is pretty good. You should get a lot of hours of recording and you can loop record. You can choose to record audio or not. Uh, you can have a G sensor on it so you can have it as a parking guard and you can have different levels. So if someone hits your car, it'll come on and record both front and back views. Um, or someone's trying to break into your car and they're rattling the door. So it'd be good for a security camera. Uh, you have a screensaver, different video encoding frequencies. Uh, you can have it a mirror image if you're using it as a rear view mirror. Uh, you got a speaker, all kinds of different features, format the car, date and time. And of course it's got the GPS which prints out uh, your GPS coordinates as you drive and also the miles per hour. And it has a built-in battery so uh, that's when, when, the, when it's not getting power from the cigarette lighter. Uh, the parking monitor can still get some power. Let's take a look at uh, some of the clips I recorded on that drive that I did. So here's a look at the front dash cam that I captured. And it's pretty good. And you can see it's picking up the, the GPS coordinates and the speed. Nice and clear view there. Let's speed it up here. Now we'll take a look at the back facing camera, same footage. That's pretty clear too. So the cameras do a good job as far as being a dash cam and a rear view camera. I have no complaints there. The only complaint, like I say, is the amount of reflections coming off that rear view mirror. Uh, when you're trying to look at it in as a video and then as a rear view mirror it's okay but it's not as good as the my regular rear view mirror give you a little close-up of the unit itself there's the front facing dash cam and you can see it can be turned and moved around set the right angle these are the clips that hold it in place and you have those rubber bands that go around the back and it, it stayed pretty firm down here we have the power button and then the microphone pickup for sound and then on the top we have the GPS plug the AV plug for the back camera and then USB for the power and then in here is the compact flash card slot so it just takes a little micro USB card. So in summary, that's the Acaso DL12 mirror dash cam. Uh, as far as it goes for me, it's not something I would use in my truck. There's just too much reflections to make it worthwhile for me. Um, overall though, the cameras really work well. I'm really happy with the the resolution and the picture quality of it. Uh, the touch screen works really neat. That's a neat touch to, to be able to go through and, and change things on the touch screen and just swipe it and change your view. So um, for the price, you get a lot of features packed into it. I just wish it, it had a better performance as far as reflections. Uh, now for some people, it may be okay. I could see if a person didn't have much back window, like say you had a van and you had no back window, or you just had limited vision, you could probably use this and it would be be of a benefit for you because you don't really can't use your rear view uh, mirror very well at all anyway. So this way you could actually get some vision. Um, it seems to work really well as a backup camera because it's got such a wild, uh, wide field of vision to it. Um, and it's got lots of the dash cam features like it, it records on impact so it has parking monitor um, and stuff like that loop recording they say it has really good night vision it has the sony cameras in it and that's what's in my other acaso dash cam and i'm really happy with that um, i see it goes for 129 on the acaso site but i noticed on amazon it's down to 109.99 which is not too bad for all the, the features it has and you get two cameras and touch screen. Um, although I see the ratings, all five stars, 83 ratings, that makes me a little skeptical that some of these reviews aren't, aren't quite true. Uh, so there you go. Um, sort of a, a 
iffy product for me. I wouldn't use it, but maybe someone could use it in their application. Uh, I'm pretty soon I'm going to be reviewing something very similar from Halo View. And you know I had, I've used the Halo View rear view backup cameras on my rig. Well, they've come out with a, a rear view observation mirror cam as well. So it does basically the same thing. But it's a wireless one. So it has a 1200 uh, foot wireless line of sight reception range. And it also, the package here comes with a, a battery that you mount so you don't have to run any wires at all. You just hook everything up and uh, it's good to go. So they're sending that out to me as we speak. So I uh, look forward to that review coming soon. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.